Hello friends, this session is on N equations for the questions that can be solved using factorization. Expressions such as this one. So let's get to learning by examples straight away. Here is a warm-up question for you. Please pause the video and try solving it yourself. So the first step would be to bring all the variables on one side. Make it x squared minus x is less than 0. Factorize, it becomes x times x minus 1 is less than 0. And here is the concept that, that I want to teach you, something that would help you in solving all questions of this type. Imagine a number line and imagine each term as a node. The value of each node would be 0 for some respective values of x. Find out those values of x. So for this term, the value would be 0 when x itself becomes equal to 0. For this term, the value would be 0 when x becomes equal to 1. Plot these values on the number line. The nodes are 0 and 1. And now imagine what happens to this expression for different values around the node. On each node, the expression becomes, of course, equal to 0. And imagine what happens beyond the rightmost node. Beyond the rightmost node, each term would be positive, right? See beyond x here, this value would be positive, And of course, this, this would also be positive. The product of two positive terms would always be something positive. So in this range, on the right of the rightmost node, you are always going to get a positive value. So the value of expression beyond the rightmost node is going to be positive. At the node, it would become 0. Imagine what happens between these two nodes. Between 0 and 1, the value of x times x minus 1, x would remain positive between 0 and 1. However, x minus 1 would become negative. And positive, positive into negative would always give you a negative result. So the value of the expression between 0 and 1 would be something negative. However, on the left of this node, x would also become negative and x minus 1 would also become negative and the product of two negative terms would be something positive. So we get a positive sign here, right? So the tip is that plot these nodes on the number line. The rightmost value would always be positive after which you can plot alternate negative and positive values. So coming to this question, we need negative values. The negative value is only here between 0 and 1 and therefore option C is the right choice. Uh, try applying this question, this, this concept on this question. It's a medium difficulty level question. Once again, bring it all on one side minus 18 is less than 0. Factorize x squared minus 9x plus 2x minus 18 is less than 0. Turns out to be x minus 9 into x plus 2 is less than 0. Plot it on the number line. You will have minus 2 as one node, positive 9 as the other rightmost value would be positive and then alternate negative positive. We need negative values, so the value has to be between minus 2 and positive 9. The value, the right answer here is option C. Here is a difficult question now on the same concept. Try solving it yourself. So three nodes here, minus 1 for this one, positive 2 for the second one here and positive 3 for the third one here. Beyond 3 it's going to be positive and then alternate negative positive. Right? And we need negative values. So the value here and the value here would help. So the desired answer is going to be beyond minus 1, less than minus 1 and between 2 and 3. So less than minus 1 and between 2 and 3, E is the right answer. Let's add a twist to this question. What would happen if the symbol was not less than, it was less than or equal to? What happens? Now, one may think that by default, all the signs should start having an equal to symbol in them. However, this is not correct. You have to make sure that while doing this, 
there you don't end up taking a value for which the value of denominator becomes zero because for that the value of the expression would become infinite that won't be correct and therefore while you can add the equal to symbol for other values you can't put an equal to symbol for x is equal to 3 because for that the value of denominator will become zero so for that the answer would be x is less than or equal to minus 1 and x is greater than or equal to 2 but less than 3 <laughs> with this learning let's look at one mother example something that would be very elaborate and if you're able to solve this question you would be able to solve all the questions on the gmat based on this concept try solving it yourself i draw a long number line there are a lot of values here and then i plot each of them the smallest is minus 10 for which this becomes 0 then minus 7 then minus 4 uh, we also have a 0 1 3 so 6 nodes here so yeah there are 6 terms here so that's fine the rightmost value is positive so positive negative positive negative positive negative positive we need values for negative terms as in negative values of the expression so the values are these these and these the question is how many integers would satisfy this so between 1 and 3 it's only one integer 2 between minus 4 and 0, 3 integers, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. Between minus 10 and minus 7, 2 integers, minus 8, minus 9. So in all, 2 plus 3 plus 1, 6 integers satisfy this condition. Let's add one more twist to this. What if this had an equal to sign here? So if this had an equal to sign, the borders can also be counted. So 1 and 3, ideally they could have been all 3 integers, 1, 2 and 3. However, we cannot count 3 because at that, the denominator will become 0. So it can be only 1 and 2 between minus 4 and 0. Ideally, it's 5 integers and all 5 cannot be counted because if we count 0, this becomes 0. So between minus 4 and 0, it's all 5 integers out of which only 4 can be taken. And minus 10 and minus 7, these are 4 integers and out of which minus 10 cannot be taken only 3 can be taken right so in that case 3 plus 4 plus 2 9 would have been the answer remember 12 would also be a choice definitely if the question were this 12 would definitely be a choice because some students would commit that mistake of counting 0 3 and minus 10 but they should not be counted in that case the answer would have been nine so this is the concept guys using this concept you can solve all these questions very very quickly save a lot of time hope this helps thanks for watching